Now let's take a look at your MT3 LT4 affirmation. Uh, you didn't master this, so I want to go over one of the questions you got wrong and try to help you out so you can do it correctly. The first question you had right is these two shapes, you can see they are, par they are congruent. So that one is yes. The question is what transformations will map figure A on top of figure B? If we take a look at the first one, if we translate it just 10 units to the left, and then we reflect it over the x-axis, notice it'll still be pointing to the left, won't it? Because we, when you reflect this, it's still pointing to the left and it needs to point down, so it's not going to be A. Let's take a look at the second part. If I reflect it over the y-axis, then it'll be pointing to the right. But then I translate it up, it's still pointing to the right. That's not going to work either. Let's take a look at the third one. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. So if I rotate it, if I turn it 90 degrees, then it'll, it'll be pointing up. And then I reflect it over the x-axis, then it'll be pointing down. It seems to be this would be a possibility. Let's take a look at the fourth one just to make sure. If I rotate it 90 degrees, it'll be pointing up. And then I translate it up. Oh, that's still good. So it looks like the third one is a possibility, or is it none of them? Well, let's take a look at actual the coordinates. So if I take a look at the first coordinate, 2, negative 2. If I do a rotation of 90 degrees, 2, negative Oh, that's really thick. Let me make that thinner. 2, negative 2. Well, when you do a rotation, that becomes negative 2, negative 2. And then if we do a reflection over the x-axis, it becomes negative 2, 2. And notice that point is right there. Let's take a look at negative or five negative two. If I do a rotation of 90 degrees, that becomes negative two, negative five. If I reflect it over the x-axis, that becomes negative two, positive five. And look at right there. Let's do one more just to make sure. Let's do five negative four. So 5, negative 4, when you do a rotation of 90 degrees clockwise, becomes negative 4, negative 5. Then if we reflect it, it becomes negative 4, positive 5. And that's right there. I don't think we need to do the fourth one. We can see how this is turning out. So it should have been the correct answer is do the rotation of 90 degrees and then reflect it over the x-axis. What you want to do is you want to either map it in your mind or do the coordinate transformations like we did here. Uh, so this redo will be open for you on Monday. So log in on Monday and click on the redo and see if we can get this one correct. And then send me an email to say you've done the redo.